Okay, welcome. My name is Steve Goodner. I am excited to have my son Tim with me today. And we're going to do a little generational thing that will kind of also link in some family kinds of insights. But I thought it'd be good just to have some time with Tim to really get a sense of, you know, where are you as a millennial? Where are you today? And what are you seeing? What are you observing? What are you doing? And I just want to have that conversation. So for those of you who don't know me, I've been in organizational development, working with people and, and psychometric tools for more than 35 years now, hundreds of organizations, thousands of different people. And my heart, my passion is to help people. It's to equip people to prosper, help people in their lives so that they can find a better path, a more successful path. And love my work. Uh, it's that old saying, if you love your work, you won't work a day in your life. That's kind of the way I feel right now. And Tim has been in and out of, of what we're doing some, has experienced some of what we're doing. And we're going to talk a little bit about that today. But I'm really more interested in where Tim is today. And I'm going to let him introduce himself, tell you a little bit about himself and what he's doing right now and the kinds of experiences he's had. And we'll get into observations of what's going on in his world and all of that. So, Tim, go ahead. Tell us about you. <laughs> well, thank you. Yeah, I've been to kind of come off what you said. Yeah, I've spent some time going through the EQ Fit um, material, and it's really been helpful for me to kind of understand how I'm showing up for other people in mm -hmm. my Kind of arena, which is I've been in hospitality since I was 16 years old. So that would have been 2004. I started, so I'm coming up on 20 years now. 2004, I started in hospitality. I was a, my first job was a line cook at Pizza Hut. It was the second largest delivery area in the state of Missouri. And we would have two line cooks on weekends. So I would go to high school and I would leave high school at like 2.30 in the afternoon. I'd go to work at four and I'd work from four to one o'clock in the morning. That was my first job. So I would do that Friday night, Saturday night, and then Sunday. And then I'd work, you know, was at 20 something hours a week. And then I'd be really excited. Get my paycheck of like 200 bucks. It was phenomenal. It was a great time. So that's, that was my journey into hospitality. It taught me kind of an understanding of what it is to actually work. I learned that young of like what, what, and I, I get that from you and I get that from mom is the, yeah. uh, the understanding that there is no job that's too difficult for me to do. And there is never, there's never a barrier. The only barrier is the ones I create for myself. So, I mean, mom would work three jobs to help put us through college. And then I was working from the time I was 16. I took about a couple of times. I took a few months off. I took about six months off in the middle of college, but for the rest of college, I was serving or bartending or doing something in order to make ends meet to pay for the things because I, I didn't have money that was thrown at me to take care of things at college. Like if I wanted to eat, or if I wanted to do social activities or stuff, like I had to finance those things. So that was my, my way to do that was hospitality because it was just, it was, I already had a job and it was just easy to kind of come and go. So the career trajectory that I've taken over the last 20 years has gone from at basically every position that you could work inside of a restaurant building. Um, I've also done a stint in hotels to understand the difference between what it is to work in a restaurant and a hotel, think of a hotel is basically a umbrella of like four different businesses operating for one strategic goal, uh, which is all just guest experience and customer satisfaction. Like at, at the end of the day, hospitality is about an understanding that people are coming to your, your, your place of business for an experience and your job is to please them and make them feel like they're cared for as a human being. Like that's, that is hospitality in a nutshell. So that is kind of like the overarching thing i just recently went through like a hiring process which was a great time <laughs> there's a lot of great stories to be told there because it was it was really difficult to hospitality as a business where it's very difficult to translate your skills as an individual because the skills are not technical skills in a sense some of them are understanding a pnl is a technical skill understanding you know how much your food how to how to manage food cost is a technical skill but the majority of the skills that you're going to be using inside of hospitality are ones that are soft skills, your ability to manage people. How can you get people to you know, buy into your vision? How can you get people to be motivated about a job that, 
they're just there for a paycheck. These are the challenges of hospitality management. And those are skills that are not easily translated through an interview process. And so a lot of that is going to be done through your ability to present yourself, communicate your, uh, your, your, your experience and what things you've been through in order to get the other person to understand, okay, this person has solved these types of problems before, and they're able to provide value in situations like this if they were to come up again, such as being short staff, such as somebody come, calls out on a Friday or a Saturday, and I'm, you know, I have a four man, a four station line, and I've got two employees. What am I supposed to do in that situation? That's that. Those are the problems that you solve as a hospitality manager. Um, how do you tell a guest? I'm sorry, half our line didn't show up today. Your dinner is going to take 45 minutes. Like that is never acceptable. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter what your situation you find yourself in. At the end of the day, you're asking those guests to pay money for an experience, and you need to provide it. And that is the nature of hospitality of kind of like understanding how to manage it is getting your team to buy in, getting your team to show up on time, getting your team to understand what we do is something that provides value to people and what they do matters. What they do is a prep cook, a line cook, a server, a greeter. Those positions are all positions that provide value to the lives of people coming into the building.